गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू चैप्टर दैट इज रीचिंग प्लेस चैप्टर नंबर ट्वेंटी थ्री इन दिस चैप्टर वी विल लर्न अबाउट नीड फॉर ट्रांसपोर्ट मीन्स ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्ट एंड इम्पैक्ट ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्ट ऑन ट्रेड एंड इकोनॉमी सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल बी लर्निंग अबाउट वॉट इज ट्रांसपोर्ट इट इज द मूवमेंट ऑफ ह्यूमन्स animals and goods from one location to another so we have various means of transport that have changed to super fast planes etc so now the 21st century has seen a revolution in the means of transport as a result trade commerce and tourism have got boost so let's learn about all these categories of transport so first of all let's learn about land transport under which we will learn about roadways roads are needed for faster and smoother movement of vehicles these are broad roads that connect major cities of the country they are called national highways freeways or express ways these roads allow traffic to move at a very high speed they makes vehicle to travel very quickly now see here our country has a very longest express way which is the purvanchal express way roads that connect different countries are called international highway now see here our country is also connected by road with pakistan nepal bhutan and bangladesh you know the first highway of india was built by sher shah suri and was called the grand trunk road now railways india has the largest network of rail lines connecting almost all part of the country therefore it is also known as the backbone of the country india's first train ran in the year 1853 between mumbai and thane since then railways have expanded and now india has many super fast trains today the shatabdi express rajdhani express duranto express are the fastest train in india a number of heritage trains such as deccan queen and the, and the palace on wheels have also been introduced for tourists europe and north america have railway lines more extensive than anywhere else in the world the longest railway line in the world is the russian trans siberian railway connecting moscow and vladivostok many countries have developed high speed trains like uh, china crh2 japan's bullet train etc it can they can travel over 300 km in an hour now air transport these are the fastest and the most expensive means of transport you know the first aeroplane was built by wright brothers in the year 1903 as we already know that airways are the are the fastest means of transport they can travel at a very high speed you know when we travel inside our country the flights are known as domestic flights at the same time if we travel to different countries if we travel from india to america or to australia or to europe then these flights are known as international flights now let's move to water transport you know the water transport is the cheapest means of transport among all the three transport rafts and boats were the earliest means of water transport known to early humans you know later bigger ships were built so man could carry heavier goods to other countries today most of the world's trade is conducted through ocean and sea routes you know these uh, this is a panama canal uh, that made the route short end by which south america can do 
trade with Australia and New Zealand in a very short time. At the same time, Swiss Canal also uh, made it connected Mediterranean Sea with the Red Sea in the year 1865. This shortened the length of the journey and we can reach India from Europe in only two weeks. Today we have large oil tankers, trawlers, etc. to transport things in bulk. There are deep freezers to transport fruit, vegetable, etc. in refrigerated ships. You know, India's longest coastline about 6000 km with almost 10 major ports has helped to con connect us to all major countries of the world. Now, let's move to journey into space. You know, space tourism is the term used to describe space travel for recreational or leisure purposes. It means it is for the enjoyment purpose. Space Adventure is currently the only company to have succeeded in sending or paying passenger into space. It is the recent phenomena in which tourists are paying for flights into the space. In India, ISRO has brought us much closer to the advanced nations. It has developed two satellite launch vehicles that is PSLV and GSLV. Chandrayaan-1 was India's first mission to the moon. Now the question is transport a boon or a ban? As we already know that modern transport has made our life very easy and comfortable. But at the same time it has its negative effects in the environment. It causes air and noise pollution. You know uh, during the burning of petrol and diesel, many of the pollutants are given out that are suspended in the air that causes many diseases. People have started using CNG to prevent air pollution. You know, water transport also creates pollution in water. An accident of an oil spill can be most harmful to the marine life. Thus, we should follow some of the steps. Get our vehicles checked for pollution regularly. Use proper fuel. You know, to overcome from all these problems, situations, we should follow the rule of sustainable development. It means using available resources judiciously without compromising the need of the present and the future generations. So with this, the chapter is over. Thank you.